Does your name have an interesting story? You know, whether you were named after a person of significance or because of the meaning of your name, or maybe just because your parents liked it. No, but our names wind up having meaning to us, right? They represent who we are. And that could be even more true when it comes to the names that we use for God. The Bible is full of interesting names given to God. Jehovah Jireh means the Lord will provide. Jehovah Rapha meaning the Lord who heals. Adonai means master. El Olam meaning our God is unchanging and eternal. El Shaddai, which most English Bibles translate as God Almighty, is actually much closer to the God of many breasts. Now, the idea being that that God is a mother who has enough milk to nurse all her children. God is also referred to as Wonderful Counselor, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Now, these names were given to God by people for how they experienced God in their real world circumstances. You know, it's like they named God things like the God who is getting us through COVID or protector of the peaceful protesters, or my therapist on speed dial. You know, of course, there are also names that are self-chosen by God, like Heavenly Father and the Great I Am. One of the most central self-chosen names of God in the Bible is found in the book of Exodus, where God announces their name as the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. Now, admittedly, that's a pretty long name. But that's almost the point. You know, there, there aren't enough words in all of the languages in the world to adequately convey the fullness of who God is in a name. That's why there are so many. There's actually something beautiful about God allowing and taking on the names we give based on our experience. It's so inviting and relational. So I wonder, what name do you use when you talk to God? In your prayers, do you refer to God as your Heavenly Father or Mother? Do you prefer names like Lord, Savior, Creator, Friend, or or simply Jesus, which means God saves? Do you reach for something descriptive? or something affectionate? Or maybe do you just prefer the bigness of the name God? We're gonna take a couple of minutes right now and just give some quiet space for you to personally consider. Now, what is a name or a few names for God that you would feel personally connected to? It could be one of the many I've mentioned, might be something that you make up right now on the spot. But can you think of a name for God that that helps you articulate your experience of God's presence in a personal and a powerful way. Let's all just take a minute with that.
Well, I hope maybe that was an expanding and even a moving experience for you. The name that I wrote down was the God who loves to love me. This week, whenever you're praying, I would encourage you to intentionally speak to God using the name you came up with. Or why not use many of these names to just keep expanding your sense of the wonder, the mystery, the bigness, and the beauty of God. Right now, the band is going to teach us a new song called 1,000 Names. And I want to invite you to hold your name for God in your heart and just let it help your worship to become even more personal in these moments.